to quick 3D tutorials. In the past video, we have shown you how you can use uh, the Arnold to shading the snowman. And in this one, we're going to focusing how we can make the snow to fall. And in this case, we're going to use the end particle. And after it, in the next video is going to be how we can render it. So before anything, we need to go to the display, go to the head up display and frame rate. Why it is important when you're working with simulation and cloth and particle or and hair or whatever thing it is, uh, sometimes you will not see the real time. So let's see if your computer is slow or the project is too high, you're going to see it slower. But when you're going to save it, it is too fast. And that is because the frame at last, it needs to be 24 frame per second. So that is important to keep in mind. And the other things we need to have a space to playing, so we're going by the frame to make it higher number. Now we are ready to create the snow. So we're going to the FX and go to the end particle and find create emitter. Just resetting the tool and we need to use the volume and just create it. Here it is small cube we have getting the important thing is uh, if you're going to scale this i'm going to scale it more the area we wanted if you're just going to scale it like this is the snow give you another effect the snow some of the snow is starting here and ending here maybe and some of them is starting for them from the middle and this we want all this now starting from the top. So the thing we're going to do is scaling it down and putting it up. Like this. So all this now getting a star here and we want it to falling all the down, always down. So just find where you want to position it. So now if I just playing it, so it is very fast and that is because uh, I just go to the outliner to see what we got. We're getting emitter and we're getting end particle. I go to end the particle, dynamic property, and turn off the gravity. So if I now playing it, the gravity not affecting the new class, not affecting the particle, which is this one I want it to be. But the other thing is, is starting from central and outside. If I go to the emitter, go always to Here it is uh, away from a centra. So we just putting it to the zero. Everything it need to be zero. So now the just being there, it not falling any direction. So I want this one falling this direction. If, if I put the speed now to one, these going to the X and that is because if we looking to the direction, the X is on the one. So we put it to the zero and the y in negative of one I want it. So you can see the row, you cannot see it very good, but it's going to be this direction. So if I just go back and playing, now it's going the direction I want it to be. But the other problem we get is not continuing always down, it just stay here. Why it does it? That is because if I go to the end particle, go to to the drag and put this to zero that is very important now the continue from top always down so and you can see the frame is 100 something like this so it is the real life i uh, real time i'm going to see it so maybe the snow i don't know is luck not bad uh, if you want to make the speed higher or lower, you can playing with uh, emitter the speed. But now I want also have random direction, not a much, just a little bit. So you can see it's going to left and right and so on. It gives very nice effect. And if you want to have more snow or less snow, you can playing with this. How many particles do you want to have per second? So I think that is good. Uh, the last thing is if you're looking the continue always down. So which is I don't want it. So we're going to the end part 
vertical going to the live span so for this you can use the random range or the other one and putting it maybe 20 which does mean is going to stop on the 20 so you can see yeah it is stopping right there maybe less or more but for that is okay so they don't continue anymore So another thing I will also talking about uh, if you want to have the win, so how we can do it. Now we don't affecting it by the new class, so we need to attack this to the air, which is finding here. Before it, we need to we need go and select the end particle, go to the air, and just selecting it. That is a small one here in the center. If I just play this now. You can see the air coming in this direction of course and the direction on zero and find which direction do you want it so just play stopping it now the air coming from the other side and the speed of the air can be controlling by this one let's play it once again so you can see yeah, how much do you want to have the effect? Maybe a still it is fast. You can of course playing with this one to zero. You need to have it at last to one maybe. Something like this so they're going to follow the speed. Okay, I will show you this. Uh, if we're going to the FX and go to the selecting the air and W for the for the translate uh, uh, we're going to the playback and now we can actually if I move this you can see it's going to affect the the snow so that is you can make animation if you like but for now it uh, it is just blowing this way just to show you how you can create different effect but for now I don't need it so I just deleting it and if we look into the particle now it coming a snow nicely so in the next video we're going to show you how we can render it and we're using R05 to do it